Hey everyone, it's Kai from Cool Collectibles back again for another review. This time it's the Star Wars movie realization, Mandalorian, Beskar Armor, and Grogu set. For all the amazing figures coming out of Japan, click the link in the description below to head on over to Big Bad Toy Store. They ship worldwide, so definitely check them out. Alright, it took a while for Big Bad Toy Store to get their stock in, but um, it was definitely worth the wait because this set is pretty damn fantastic. If you're a fan of this series and The Mandalorian, I think uh, it's pretty much a must-have uh, just for the cute little Grogu it itself, uh, but we'll get to that shortly. Um, just a quick look at the box art. If you've collected the series before, you'll, you'll know what you're going to get. Uh, same sort of classic artwork on the front there and photos and so on of the figure and accessories at the back and I do love that little man bun. Um, I tend to throw my boxes away but um, I did have a request last time for someone to pick up the box um, off of me um, so I'm not sure if that's going to happen again but uh, if any of you are in local uh, South Australia and you want the box uh, let me know and uh, you can have it. Uh, but now on to the set itself. I mean, as you can see, it does come with quite a bit, um, and I guess for around 130, 140 US retail, um, you'd expect quite a bit to come with the set. Um, now, I think the Bandai uh, US website uh, did have it uh, for a short period of time for about 100 US, um, but um, unfortunately, that website doesn't uh, ship to uh, international customers. It only ships to continental USA, which is pretty stupid in uh, 2022 if you ask me but um, I guess luckily uh, Big Bad Torso does get these uh, Tamashii Nations exclusives um, for a little bit extra in the price but uh, well worth worth it if you're, you're a fan of the series <clears throat> but I'll get to the figure itself out of the way just to give you guys a closer look at the accessories here uh, the favorite of mine is definitely this little guy here I uh, love the way it can articulate, you can rotate the arms, uh, the arms are a little bit tight uh, but they've loosened up now that I've sort of um, uh, maybe broken a bit of the inside paint or something like that. Uh, the head sculpt there rotates, uh, the bun stays in place, uh, the upper torso also moves around like so on a ball joint there. Uh, the instructions say that the feet uh, do move but um, mine are pretty tight and I'm not, I'm not going to risk trying to break those off either so um, other than that um, it's pretty damn nice I love the uh, the outfit there um, the head sculpt I think looks fantastic and the ears there uh, but as I was saying before my favorite is definitely this uh, cute little man bun um, it's definitely an homage to the uh, lone wolf and cub um, classic story um, in Japanese um, and they've paid a really great homage to that uh, with this particular figure here. So there's Grogu there, comes with his little egg um, crib thing or um, pram. Uh, so you can just sit him in there. Um, I don't think you're meant to take him apart, you just sort of sit him in there like that. So that looks pretty good. There's no uh, working lid I don't think, I think that's just sculpted on. Uh, but that looks uh, pretty damn good. The paint app is a nice sort of dirt wash. To it um, and then of course it comes with the wooden pram so I guess you don't have to put the um, egg in there and you could have him just standing in the, the pram like that for the old classic style but I think it looks just as good with the egg in there like that and the wood look on the pram itself is uh, really nicely done um, I love the bamboo sort of highlights on the side here and the handlebars um, the wheels do rotate, um, so that's a nice touch there. And the wood sort of paint application um, is uh, pretty realistic too. So I, overall I think this is a fantastic accessory. So you can just um, have it sitting there like so with the, the egg there. Um, and then just have him sitting in there like so. And I think there are a couple of um, uh, sculpted hands that uh, he can pretty much uh, push that pram along. Uh, but I might try to actually find a pose where he's um, kneeling down or something next to it instead of pushing it. Um, I'm a dad myself, but uh, I don't particularly like the Mandalorian on uh, my display anyway, uh, pushing a pram. <laughs> but we'll, we'll see how we go. Uh, the other accessory is his uh, rocket pack at the back here. So again, that's uh, nicely painted in the silver finish. You can see all the dirt wash um, inside there. 
So that's nicely done and the, the sort of burnt out effects on the, the back there. I didn't notice that on the original, but um, I'll have a look um, at the original figure in a second in a side by side. I don't think the original even came with a, a rocket pack to be honest, um, but we'll have a look in a second. And you just peg that into the hole in his back. Uh, comes with his large rifle, um, similar to what he had in the original figure. Um, and again, nice sort of wood finish there. There are a couple of minor moving parts around the, the flint lock thing here, which is fairly tight, so just be careful with that. Um, but uh, you get the idea there. And again, you can just peg that into his uh, the hole in his back there like that. Also comes with his smaller pistol. Um, I'll double check if that's the, the same as the original, but I think it is. Um, so nothing too much to write home about there. The same sort of nice gunmetal finish there. Um, of course it comes with his... Uh, people keep telling me it's not a um, katana. It's too short to be a katana. I can't remember what the term is now. A wakasashi or something like that. But uh, I'm sure someone will comment something in the, uh, the description and the comment section below. And it comes with the sheath there. You can just slide it in fairly easy there, and there's a slot on his belt uh, to hold that. Um, and then lastly, it comes with a few hands, which are nicely sculpted and painted, slightly different. I don't think these are um, a reuse. Uh, they're different from the original armor version, and I don't think Bob or Jenga had that mold as well, so um, something unique there on this particular figure. And as always, the sculpt is pretty nice with that paint application as well. Uh, but that's pretty much it for the accessories. I'll uh, just give you guys a close look at the figure. All right, so here he is up close. Um, and there are obviously um, a lot of reused parts um, and similarities to the previous um, Django, Boba and uh, Mandalorian figures. Uh, but there are a few new unique uh, sculpted areas as well. Um, the forearm... Uh, rocket thing here on the side is uh, definitely new I think um, and then there are various highlights around as I was saying before this side of the forearm the the hands um, and maybe a few other areas this whole sort of um, uh, weapon sort of wrap thing whatever they call it. I can't remember what they call that thing anymore um, th similar to what Chewbacca wears <laughs> Um, is slightly different, I think, uh, from previous uh, figures. I don't think the original Mandalorian figure had that uh, with this little uh, knife at the front here. Uh, so that's something unique to, to this figure. Although Boba and Jenga might have, might, might have had that as well. But um, articulation-wise, if you've had uh, the figure, these figures in the past, you pretty much know what you're going to get. The head does seem to sit a little bit high on the, the neck peg there. Um, so there is a bit of a gap there, but um, overall not too noticeable. Um, it does give you that uh, sort of range of motion as well, so that's not too bad. Um, these uh, shoulder pauldrons are on a sort of a hinge joint and attached on a, a little ball peg. Um, and that gives you a pretty good range of motion there. Uh, one thing I don't like is the use of these new elbow joints. It's a massive ball joint. Um, and if I just grab the previous... Um, Mandalorian figure, you'll see what I'm talking about. So you'll see that the um, elbow joint there is what they had on the sort of previous series of figures with um, Django, Bobber, etc. Um, the only time they've swapped to the this new ball joint is I think with the First Order Stormtrooper figure. And I think that is definitely a step backwards. You can sort of really make out uh, that uh, transition uh, from the arm to this ball joint, so I'm not sure why they did that. The sort of uh, seamless look here, or that internal look uh, with the double joint there, is a much better look. So I'm not sure why they went with that design change. I think um, uh, that's a step backwards when um, they really should be improving on these figures. Um, but as you can see with this side by side now, um, there is quite a lot of difference, obviously. He's got his Beskar armor on now. Um, he doesn't have the sort of flowing cape at the back. Um, as uh, I mentioned in the, uh, the video for this particular figure, I had to actually poke a hole through the cape itself so I could fit the 
um, rifle on the outside as opposed to underneath uh, the cape which is more uh, TV series accurate I think um, but uh, no issue with that no cape on this figure and you'll see the hole back there just like that so there are quite a few overall different molding differences on the figure you will see I guess on his shins here the the I guess the molded in um, bands um, and the little pockets and so on on the side there so that looks quite nice looks like um, they've sort of been consistent with the the knee joints as well um, so Again, that's highlighting how the uh, the change in the elbow joints really sort of irritates me a little bit. Um, and again, it has the, um, the the gun holster there, which uh, looks quite nice, um, and all the little sort of um, pouches and so on for for the various uh, bombs or weapons and so on. So overall, um, it looks really really nice. Um, the silver paint app. Um, Probably isn't, I wouldn't say it's as nice as Django's uh, silver paint application to be honest. That one had like almost a, some sort of pearlescence to it. Uh, this one is a straight sort of uh, metallic silver. Um, but overall the sort of dirt wash and the panel lining to, to bring out the sculpt and all of this sort of intricate detail is um, as good as it's uh, always been with this uh, series. Um, but that's pretty much it. Um, if uh, you're interested in this uh, series, definitely uh, look it up on Big Bad Toy Store. Um, I will be taking a few more photos um, online um, on the Facebook page with uh, all of the Mandalorian figures. So um, hopefully you can uh, head over to the Facebook page and check, check that out as well. But um, that's pretty much it. Hopefully you can uh, subscribe and uh, give this video a thumbs up. Um, and stay tuned for my Super 7 Thundercats uh, reviews for Tigra and the Mumra set. Uh, which I do have a few interesting thoughts on that as well uh, regarding Super 7's uh, quality control. So hopefully uh, you can stick around for those. Uh, a couple of uh, reviews coming up next. Uh, and until then, thank you and uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. Cheers. Bye.